everyone welcome to my youtube i am jen today i'm going to unbox the famous jazza's jazzy art box um or jazza's jazzy art box which i've heard it um, mentioned on youtube as well most of you already know what's in here um but i did want to go ahead and do this unboxing and let you know all about it and let you know a little bit about smart art Smart Art is actually a monthly subscription that you can get that sends curated arts and crafts to you. Um, last month we got um, a glass, like you can actually make stained glass windows um, or just draw on glass if that's what you like, things like that. Um, I've been subscribing to Smart Art since the beginning, since they started years and years now and they have this thing called peacock points and the peacock points is their reward program and every month you spend money they give you peacock points um when you participate in their give or their contests prizes or peacock points things like that so over the time i've actually accumulated quite a number of peacock points and since i'm a subscriber um i don't use those peacock points to purchase anything because they take the money out every month and um, just keep going. So I was super stoked to see this on their website as a one-time purchase because I was able to exchange a bunch of my Peacock points for a $100 gift certificate. That gift certificate I turned around and purchased Jazza's Jazzy Art Box. So super excited. This is free but not sponsored. Um, Jazza's Jazzy Art Box where I was able to purchase it with points. So super excited to see what's inside um, and to make something for you. So let's take a look. I'm excited by the box. Um, it definitely has an art box feeling or smart art feeling um, because it's got the smart art and I already see some orange sticking out and that is the color. Uh, smart art usually has purple and orange in all their boxes. So let's take a look. So, the infamous Jazza's face. So, Jazza put this on here so that you can take pictures with his art box. Um, and if you're a little bit shy, you can use his face. Um, it says, have fun making some art and take a picture. Use hashtag Jazza's Jazzy art box so I can see it. Camera shy, no problem. Wear my face instead. So, super cute drawing by Jazza himself of Jazza orange um, smart art packaging this is jam-packed full I mean this is a hefty box so inside you have a little thank you this box which I put together with my friends from smart art is jam-packed full of my favorite art materials I spent over a year trying to put together the perfect box of art materials and their awesome quality too. So whether you're just starting out or an expert, these art supplies will serve you for years. For more detail on why I love each item, you can flip to the other side of this card. So it does explain every single thing that's in here. Um, it has a little blurb on each that we can go over later. I sincerely hope you find as much joy in creating art as I have, and I hope these goodies make it even more fun for you. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support and for getting this box. I, it helps my channel and my family out. It makes me incredibly happy to be sharing my favorite things with you. Remember, share your creations on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag JazzyArtBox. I can't wait to see what you make. Um, ooh, coupon code off your first purchase at Smart Art, which won't work for me, but there's that. Um, a thank you for purchasing Jazz's Jazzy Art Box. Don't let the fun stop here. If you enjoyed the materials in this box, you could check out Smart Art Box. Try the new supplies and expert art projects every month. Use promo code. There you go. Coupon code. Again, I already have <laughs> so um super cool bookmark that is very cute 
And then there is a print that he did for this box, specifically using just these supplies and nothing else. I know he was giving away some of his signed, it is signed, but it's copy. He was giving away some of his actually signed um, boxes, originally signed, original signature drawings as well in some of these boxes. I just didn't get one of those, unfortunately. There wasn't very many compared to the number of boxes that he sold. So let's take a look at all the little goodies floating around first. Um, so first up is a fabric Castell Dust Free eraser so eraser fine line graphics by marabou um it is a set i always rip these when i open the box i don't know if there's even a way to do it without ripping it but all right there we go so it is a set of four black Fine liners. So we've got the 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, and brush pen. Let me grab a scrap piece of paper. So this is the, oh, this is the brush pen. Very soft. This is the point eight big pen. Point four, about half the size of the big one, and point two. Super cute little guy. Love those pens, and after they dry, I believe. They are waterproof. So that was very nice. Um, a Tombow. It's all in Japanese. Calligraphy pen. Very nice tip. How does he spell it? T-O-M-B-O-W. I bet you that will be uh, waterproof as well. A Tombow water-based pin. That will not be waterproof from my understanding if it's water-based. But we can test it out. It's got a brush side and a little pin side. There's so much in here. Super cool coal erase pen in blue, or pencil in blue. Um, I actually got one of these from Smart Art a couple months back, I believe. Um, it's fun to do your outlines in this, and then it erases. Um, so you're able to have just that hint. Um, most color pencils don't erase, so it's very nice to have one that does. Pretty mechanical pencil with an eraser, teeny tiny eraser. Very nice, very smooth. A white Uniball Signo pen. I have a hard time getting keeping pins um, fresh that can draw over the top of ink, acrylic, anything like that. So it's super nice to see that. Um, let's do oops, let's do the Faber Castell Polychromos color pencils. I don't believe I have any of these. 
like from those color pencils. How vibrant those colors look. Let's see if they look as cool. Let's get rid of Jazza's face. I know Jazza, I'm sorry. Okay, so polychromos is very shiny. So black. Let's do a little bubble. Some shading. Some very nice colors in there. Very nice. Very vibrant, very smooth. So if I understand, there's really no browns in the markers. Um, so you'll have to either um, mix colors to get the brown or use the pencils on top of it, which pencils, these pencils um, should actually work very well on top of the Spectrum Noir pencils, or markers, apologies. I do like how smooth these are. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this one in the video. Show you a close up in a minute. Really like this blue. The next one popped out for me. The light ones aren't as vibrant, but they are beautiful um, and have a lot of pigment in them.
into the drawing right on top of the um, edge that's half cut. Move back over. And then, of course, the white. Not really going to be able to see. So it helps you blend. Oops, that was black on that one. Also lets you smooth out the color a little bit. Oh, did I forget the orange? I did. Alright. Check out those colors. Let's go up. So those were the Faber Castell Polychromos pencils. Okay, next we have a Spectrum Noir markers. Um, I know most artists, illustrators, YouTubers use Copics. I actually don't have a lot of Copics. What I do have is a full set of the regular Spectrum Noirs, not the illustrators. Um, so I was super excited to see this in this kit. Um, love Jazz's little artwork on there. It's even on the back. Um, Draw with Jazza plus Smart Art plus Spectrum Noir. So it looks like all three of them partnered for this one. Um, the box is pretty sturdy too. But super excited to see these because I love Spectrum Noirs. I have their original set. I have their second set. Um, because their original set had a little bit of issues with drying out. Um, so they replaced um, all my they replaced all of my markers with the second set for me. Um, because of that and I had a full set so let's take a look we'll just use right next to it okay so super cool brush side um, thing with these which a couple people have mentioned is that it's a little awkward putting the tip back on because it's not, um, it has gone one way. Well, maybe backwards too. So possibly two ways. Um, but also just something to note, this one is the brush slide. Here, see that little one right there? It's the brush slide. Their normal markers have like a gray, um, let me grab one.
So this was their first design. This was the one that actually leaked a little bit. Um, the caps are square on this one, but it had this little gray line to let you know which side was which and to not get the brush, side, brush pins. It has the little chisel nib and then the fine nib. Um, so there's those. They were a little easier. They feel a little easier to put on than these, um, only because, I mean, there's four different ways to put it on. Um, after these, they replaced, um, placed them with these. This is pretty cool, um, because it's kind of... This was the ones they um, replaced all of their original ones um, and they changed the shape. Um, they changed it to this is, looks like six sided hexagon to shape which I actually really liked um, because they didn't really roll anywhere. These didn't either um, but I really like these because of that but then this was so much easier to put on because you could put it on in six different ways. I mean technically you could only put it on one different way, but it was such a small um, amount that you could have an error and it's just a small little twist to get it on. These aren't like that. If I put these on backwards, it's a big twist to get it on, which is perfectly fine. I don't have a problem with that, um, but I could definitely see the people that have mentioned it um, because they are big illustrators. Um, and while you're in there and you're working, you want to keep the cap on while you're on a different color, but then you want to be able to quickly switch back and forth. So you can definitely see that as an issue with these, um, but a very cool design. Definitely still does not roll off. Um, again, I didn't have the illustrator pins. I just had the normal Spectrum Noir with the broad pin, um, the chisel nib and the fine pin. So, um, and then again, they have the little gray thing. They don't have the little gray thing on these. So you have to look at the pictures, which is perfectly fine, but, so this is the brush pen. Um, so these are super cool. I love Spectrum Noir. This is not Spectrum Noir paper. It's not even smooth paper, it is just scrap paper. So bear that in mind when you take a look. There will definitely be some bleeding. In my little circles see I just did it I tried to put it on put it on the wrong way not a big deal just spin it but I could see the people that have mentioned it having issues as illustrators I bet you'd get used to it though Spectrum Noir is pretty cool. Um, check out their website. They have some tutorials. They actually teach you the proper blending techniques, um, different ways to actually use the markers. Um, I'm sure Copic does as well, but I've been a lifelong, lifelong as in as long as Spectrum Noir has been out, um, fan of Spectrum Noir. Um, I do have a couple Copics. Um, I actually just got some last month 
in a kit um, from Sketchbox. So I think that was movie two. So I have two Copics. And the rest are all Spectre Noir. And I do have a couple illustrator pins um, when I was doing coloring. regular paper um, it goes on pretty smooth it's very comfortable the tooth of the paper doesn't grab it or anything like that oh look there's a black in here oh it's ice gray it's not black Could definitely make that into a black I do plan on doing a drawing in the sketchbox or um, sketchbook that we'll see here in a few minutes for you. It's just going to have to be another day um, so I can get this posted and it'll probably take me a while to um, actually do the drawing design and get it posted. I haven't done very many drawings on YouTube just yet so my comfort level with that is pretty low. Um, but I will see what I can do about getting one up there for you on that. It also came with a blender pen, and the cool thing about the blender pen, I'm sure Copic's the same, um, but what it does is it does blend, um, but it also just, it takes away color. So you can lighten um, something that you've drawn. You can add polka dots to something if you want, which we'll do here in a minute. Um, so this is the blender pen, exactly the same as the others, except there's no color in it. Um, so let's take a look. And then it's pretty cool because it will take it a second to activate. And then you will see that color start to lighten. So I'll take a look at that purple um, right there. That is the blender pen that took away that little line in the purple. So a very cool set. I'm very excited to use these brand new Spectrum Noirs. I haven't gotten any brand new ones in not a long time. Um, so super excited. I take that back. There was also a Spectrum Noir in the sketch box. Um, I'll have to take a look, but it was like a tri-blend one. That was one marker with three different colors. So that was super cool too. First time I had seen that. Um, so I'll definitely do a video or try to do a video with a drawing with all of those as well. So this video is getting long, so let's take a look at what is left. Um, it looks like they also included a blending card. Ultra smooth, bright white surface. Laser and inkjet compatible, perfect for marker blending and illustration. Um, specially selected for use with alcohol. So this is a basically sample pack. It looks like there's a couple pieces in there, as well as a code um, for summer sale to get a discount if you want more. So that must be the paper that they're suggesting. Apricots. Okay, I did use it. I just didn't put it back. blender red amethyst ultramarine green oh grass it's grass 
dandelion. And there is numbers on this, um, just like with the Copic, um, you have the same colors um, in a family numbered so that you can blend. It actually blends well with lots of colors, but you can blend um, or use different gradation with these as well. Pale tan. Apricot. Amber. Ice gray. I just had it. Okay. Figure out why these wouldn't fit all my markers, but if you put them in the wrong way, it looks like it's full and you'll leave a marker out. So I have to put it sideways because it's skinnier sideways. So good to note. Very cool packaging. There we go. Now they're all back in there. Sorry about that. And now we can take a look at what is left. We have a very sturdy nostalgic sketchbook and a pencil case. So let's take a look as I chip my nail at the sketchbook. I will probably use this um, for a demo of these products in a later video, um, but as of right now, I don't know what to put in here. So, super cool sketchbook. Um, it's actually pretty thick, pretty nice size paper. Um, there's 80 sheets. It's um, 90 pounds. So it's a 90 pound paper stock. Um, it's kind of a blue genie type cover. I love it. And then there's also a ribbon to keep track of where you are. My ribbon looks good. Okay. And then the pencil case. Um, Jazz has said he actually uses this pencil case, only a leather version. So this is another Blue Genie type um, design. I would probably add my name or something to it because I tend to do that on things. This is my cotton pen and I add my name with my Cricut. Um, so let's take a look at that. Super cool um, because the zipper actually has a button. Um, to keep it, especially if you put it in a bag, um, to keep it safe so your zipper doesn't break off. Or while you're traveling, I love it. Um, so it's a pretty standard case. With paper in it. It has a funky smell. Um, but it looks like it is beadball. It also has a pencil case 24 tag on it. Um, these very strong um, I like that they are pretty universal so you can put whatever you want in it they're not just pencil sized um, so you can actually put markers or uniball pins in it or even erasers they're very tight so what you put in there is not going anywhere so, oops, a little too far. Once that gets sharpened, tumbos are a little long. So let's see if that will close with the tumbow in it. Um, anyone that's used the tumbow markers knows that it's double-sided, um, so they make it pretty long, so that you have plenty of juiciness in it. Should be able to fit this whole set in here, but I don't want to get that Tombow stuck if it's not gonna zip. So that is very strong. 
elastic. And then, of course, the eraser is going to do funny things in there. So, um, so everything fits. And let's see if it'll close up nicely with that Tombow in it. There you go. I forgot to mention um, on Jazz's Jazzy Art Box Notes, he actually talks about a, a YouTube video that he created called 12 Markers versus 216 Copics. Can they keep up? Um, so you should definitely check out that video on Jazz's channel. Um, as well as any other Jazz's Jazzy Art Box unboxings. Thanks for joining.